growing up in india we were very very poor we didn't have a food to eat we didn't have a place to stay and we lived in most remote villages where there were no schools and nothing and despite all of that my sister went on to become a post doctorate in applied mathematics my brother has a phd in statistics and computer science and i did my engineering and mba came to united states about 35 years ago with 5 dollars in my pocket and just a dream an amazing thing happened the god has been so kind to us any which way you look at it god has given us everything we could have possibly asked for and the only way i can pay the debt back to the society for what i have received is to go back and do things that can help improve the lives of billions of people in the society i know the people who helped me don't need my help and the only way to pay back is to pay forward and i hope that by the time i die i would have paid my debt back to the society if you are unhappy with yourself if you don't love yourself and you are unhappy with yourself it doesn't matter you could be in paradise and you bring that unhappiness with you and if you are in love with yourself and when i say love with yourself i just want to make sure i'm not talking about being self conceited what i mean right really, you're not looking for approval from someone else because you're comfortable who you are you're not looking for someone to approve of who you are and then if you are happy inside you could be sitting in a dark corner and you are happy because you don't need someone to make you happy mm -hmm. happiness is a choice mm -hmm. and people can make that choice every single day even if you are very very rich you can find a reason to be unhappy i'm only flying in a gulf stream 5 my life sucks look at larry page he's got 747 converted look at bill gates and he's flying in this big plane my life just sucks or you can say oh my god i woke up from the bed and my joints don't ache how lucky i am i turn around and say wow look at the women next to me i am just so lucky right every day you can find reasons for you to be happy the happiness is when you are comfortable with who you are mm. and the minute you start to prove to someone else then you are never successful and never happy and that's the reason why i believe the only way to measure your successful or not the day you become humble is the day you become successful if you still have iot of arrogance left in you then you still trying to prove something to yourself or someone else and the day you let go of that you're successful i love that man that is beautiful i that was one of my quotes i had down in my notes because when i read that that touched me so much because i i so much believe that that the desire to always be a learner desire to always be a student and to recognize what you keep saying the words intellectual curiosity yeah and how that disappears when we lose humility yeah how the ego just takes over and even i mean i think you know you and i briefly were talking about education and that is again another problem we are facing is that we believe the job of the teacher or job of the parent is to take the horse to the water take the child make them drink and i think that is the fundamental problem we are not creating the thirst because if you can make someone thirsty you never have to take them to water or make them drink they will find their own water and they will drink all their life and that is what i call intellectual curiosity give them a chance to think what if everything they want is possible mm. what if the world can be created exactly what they want so don't focus on what the world is focus on what the world can be because if you can imagine it you can create it